So Katie and I are headed out for a day hike, and when you go on a day hike, you want a great balance of fat, protein, and carbs. So whenever you're headed out, either backpacking or day hiking, you want to bring good food with you. So one of the things I really like to do, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with banana in the middle, and then I pack it into my lunch bag. And I also bring cheese for more protein, nuts, are great protein as well. Katie makes an amazing granola and granola bar, toga nola, and I put it right into a yogurt container. This is my breakfast in the morning. I make one big parfait <laughs> that I just keep eating for a few days. So the other thing that I wanna make sure that we talk about is calorie intake. Um, so in society today, Sometimes we're influenced or um, we feel like we need to restrict our calorie intake, restrict our fat intake. Um, you know, there, there's issues around um, mentality around bodies and things like that. But it's so, so, so important. Anytime you're exerting yourself, you're hiking, you're doing outdoor activities, you need to recognize that you need fuel in your body. Um, it's just like when you put gas into the car, when your parents put gas into the car, um, if the car stalls on the side of the road, they're not going to be mad at the car because it stopped because they didn't give it gas. So it's the same thing with your body. You can't be upset at yourself if you're not performing well, if you're not hiking well, um, if you're not giving yourself the calories you need. So make sure you're eating on trail. You're not trying to restrict how much you're eating. Listen to your body. Whenever it's hungry, give it fuel. Before it's hungry, give it fuel so that you have that to tap into. And also, don't be afraid of healthy fats. Healthy fats are good. Um, so make sure that you're bringing things that are going to supply healthy fats and carbohydrates um, and just some simple sugars. And that doesn't necessarily have to be candy. It can be things like fruit um, or, you know, even if it's dehydrated fruit um, and that sort of thing, just to make sure that you have that instant energy and then the fat and the protein is going to keep you going long term. Through hike, we used a bear canister. You have to pack your food into bear canisters when you camp in the high peaks during the summertime because we do have black bears. We actually have a lot of black bears and they're, they're really not gonna bother you, but they will go after your food. These canisters also really help keeping mice and chipmunks out because they love to go after Katie's tasty granola. 